gather here today, 70, 80 years too soon, to support each other and his family in prayer and faith. Almost 10 years ago, I baptized my cousin Evan, this baptismal farm. We know that in the waters of baptism, Evan died with Christ. And now, he shares the life of Christ in a full and complete way. We're here to celebrate Evan. You know that guy, that high energy, high motor, fun-loving, little reckless guy who cruised all the pole decks with his heelys on, knocked it every rep over he could. That one. That one with that mischievous little smile and there's something in those eyes that just sucks you in. That guy. I need my twin brother. I need him to play with me, to talk to me. I need him to love me in these deep dark days. I just need a friend. And when they sing wind songs, they whisper to us, don't miss me too much. The view is nice. And I'm doing just fine. We love you, Eddie. I am forced to live through every parent's worst nightmare. Something so many of you tell me that you could never do. And I am telling you, I don't want to do it either. The pain I feel is so horrendous. It is twisting my insides so that I can barely stand at times. The thoughts of living without my boy is unbearable, but I had no choice. And just like I did for Evan, so many times before, when he was afraid of the unknown, be it a super duper high water slide, or <laughs> I don't even have to repeat anything else, you've already heard from me. Evan does for me daily what I did for him, just like the day he did when I had to leave my perfect boy in that hospital room for the last time in the wee hours of his and Elena's 10th birthday. He is holding my hand and telling me over and over in his beautifully gruff voice, you can do it, mommy. You can do it. Let's count. One, two, Evan's ashes to the sea. Welcome him into your presence, and with your saints, let him rejoice with you forever.